This is Science Quest. With your host, Jed Allen Creel. Everything science. Hi, I'm Jed Allen Friels, and thanks for joining us today on Science Quest as we get ready for another episode from the decks of the Lake Guardian. Hey, we're on the fan tail of the Lake Guardian, and today I noticed something. Dr. Tim Holine is out here, and what we've got happening is Quinn is writing in a lab book. Now, I know as electronics continue to explode, and kids are working on their iPods and their phones and their laptops, all of a sudden we're old-fashioned lab book. Doc, tell me the importance of an old-fashioned lab book. There's a couple of reasons. One is you, uh, you always want a hard copy of your data. You know, as electronic formats change, sometimes you can't access old records. Makes they're, sense. They're in older um, document types, older, older uh, programs that won't run those documents anymore. But you always have a hard copy, and you always have something in, on paper. As long as you are really careful to note the date, note the initials of the people who recorded that data, and you have a place in your lab or a place in your office where those hard copies are always stored. So, you know, out here in the Lake Guardian, it makes total sense. We're out here and Quinn's taking notes. I don't want my iPad out here in this way. Exactly. But what if I'm in my laboratory and it's perfectly dry, I'm sitting next to my desk? What do you think? You still always keep a hard copy on paper. Uh, in many labs, the, uh, the, the people who run the labs don't even want those hard copies to leave the room, let alone uh, be converted into electronic formats that students may take with them once they graduate. You never have those numbers again. So, so people are pretty rigorous about keeping things on paper as the first copy and keeping those in one place. Yeah, so our scientific lesson for today is just simply this. It doesn't matter what kind of research you're doing and what kind of technology you have. You should be keeping a hard copy in your lab book someplace. And then someday when your computer crashes, you're still going to have that data. Hey, from the deck of the fantail, thanks for joining us today on Science Quest. Science Quest. With your host, Jed Allen Creel.